Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be reviewing day number 16 of training camp for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you guys are new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you do like these training camp review videos, go ahead and hit the like button and leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. I was at this training camp practice today. Specifically, I was there as a member of of the media. I did get a media credential, and again, guys, that doesn't happen without your support. So I thank you so much for that opportunity yet again. You know, it really does mean the world to me. It, it seriously, seriously does. So I thank every single one of you who has been subscribed over the years uh, from the absolute bottom of my heart. I, I really do thank you for that. But we do have a couple of roster moves to talk about before we get into the notes from practice. The Buccaneers have signed backup offensive lineman Earl Watford to a contract. He's been with the team in the past. I think he was with the team at certain portions last year, um, so he is back there. And to make room, they did wave backup defensive lineman Sam Renner, which does break my heart. Sam is a friend of the channel, but I'm 100% positive that Sam Renner will get opportunities somewhere down the line. So uh, all best wishes to Sam. I'm still going to be supporting him. But talking about some of the players who have been out in this practice, Justin Watson, John Franklin, they are still out. They are still on the pup list. Cyril Grayson, Jordan Whitehead, Danell Stanley, they are all still out. Robert Hainsey was also out yet again. He is confirmed to not be playing in preseason week one. We will still talk about him in a little bit, though. And then Antonio Brown and OJ Howard both had vet days today. But let's start getting into some of these notes. I did have a good amount of observations. First things first, the Buccaneers continued by starting off the practice with special teams drills. That's what they've been doing for a long time now. You had Jadon Mickens and Jalen Darden returning punts. Everything was generally just the same as it's always been. Nothing flashy or anything like that, but still very solid, necessary work in my opinion. All running backs looked very impressive catching the ball, and one thing that was pretty interesting to note is during the early stages, they actually had a good amount of blocking work being done with the wide receivers, the running backs, and tight ends. If you guys remember, uh, a video or two ago, we had talked about how Bruce Arians kind of called out Tanner Hudson and said, hey, block somebody, anybody. So... Bruce Arians, he does like good blocking with his wide receivers, with his running backs, and his tight ends. He likes good blockers. So it does make a lot of sense to me that that is something that they were working on in this practice today. Darrell Adams had an early drop in practice, although he would basically not have another one throughout the remainder of practice. It's going to be interesting seeing how this fourth tight end spot goes. I do have a video coming out on the first depth chart for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I have some interesting thoughts on the fourth tight end position. But, you know, with Tanner Hudson getting called out by Bruce Arians and saying, hey, block better, you know, it really did open up that fourth tight end spot, and I think it's anybody's game at this point. So a guy like Jarrell Adams can't really you know, afford to miss opportunities with some drops. He, he needs to secure the ball. He needs to show that he can block because right now as it stands, he does have a legitimate chance at that fourth tight end spot. So uh, like I said, he did recover though. He did do very well throughout the remainder of practice. Just that one drop. I'm not going to knock him too much for that. Tyler Johnson looked very uh, good early on with catches from Ryan Gif Griffin. He continues to have a very good uh, training camp. Tyler Johnson does. Nothing new there. Ryan Griffin looked good today as well. Sue actually had one good play and run defense today during practice. Nice to see Sue out there. We don't get to talk about him a ton because, quite frankly, he doesn't need to be out there a ton. He's an established starter. He knows what he's about. But still, regardless, he makes some plays when he is out there, which is always an encouraging thing to see. Scotty Miller had some very good route running on the day. I remember he had like, I believe it was like a comeback route where he just absolutely, you know, beat the coverage on him and just had a wide open catch. It was actually some very good route running on Scotty Miller, which is nothing new. Scotty actually is a pretty underrated route runner in my opinion, and he was showcasing some of that today. Even though Robert Hainsey wasn't practicing in full, like I said, he was getting some light work with Tom Brady, which I feel is pretty huge, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't sound like a big deal. It's like, oh, Hainsey, you know, he, he was wearing a hat. It's not like he had his helmet on or anything, but, you know, hey, still working with the starting quarterback, especially a guy like Tom Brady. There's a level of trust there. You know, there's a level of, hey, let's get this young guy to work there, and I think it was very, very beneficial for Hainsey, in my opinion. 
Uh, Raven Green looked good both in coverage and in blitzing today, which was encouraging. We haven't mentioned Raven Green a ton. He hasn't been there for a ton of practices, but it seems like he's picking up more steam, more momentum for himself. Um, and we'll see if he can continue that going into the first preseason game. It was nice to see him do some good things. Shaq Barrett had a would-be sack on Kyle Trask, but Trask is still continuing to improve, guys, with his timing and his decision-making. He's not throwing up just, you know, crazy interceptions or anything like that. He's being patient, um, and he really is taking his time, which I think is huge progression. I think he's getting better every single practice. Kevin Minter had good pressure or a would-be sack on Ryan Griffin, depending on what you want to call it. At the very least, it was good pressure, and that's a good thing to see from Kevin Minter. You know, he's a guy that I think a lot of people kind of forget about whenever you think about linebacker depth, but he's a solid number three. He really is. His role is pretty much established, just, you know, basically a special teams captain type guy and a solid backup middle linebacker if, uh, you know, he needs to come in and rotate in with Levante David or Devin White. He, he is a solid, solid player on this roster, so I was happy to uh, see him do some stuff today. Nate Brooks did a pretty decent job as a blitzing cornerback. You know, I, I've been talking about Nate Brooks in a lot of these videos. I really do think the guy has been doing some good things so far in this training camp, and I think that he does have a legitimate shot for that fifth cornerback job. We will mention him a little bit later. Tom Brady, as always, was on point with his throws. Him and Mike Evans connected multiple times for great catches that resulted in touchdowns. You're going to be seeing that a lot, of course, and uh, it continued today in this practice. Tyler Johnson dropped a touchdown on a beautiful pass from Blaine Gabbert. So, Tyler Johnson, he did good early on, but then he did drop that touchdown pass from Gabbert, and he was not too happy about it. He slammed the football into the wall. He was not feeling it. And uh, it makes sense, you know, Tyler Johnson. And, and I will say this. A lot of people have said, oh man, Tyler Johnson, he might not make the team. Tyler Johnson, I feel very strongly, is going to make the team. I would be shocked if he didn't make the team. I know people point to, the well, Bruce Arian said he came in overweight. Ah, uh, you know, what's going on with that? Look, point blank, even with him being overweight, he's had a great camp. And one or two drops here or there, I'm not going to knock that because that happens to everybody. So overall, you know, Tyler Johnson, I'm pretty, pretty darn positive he's going to make this roster. And I would personally be very shocked if uh, anything happened otherwise. Going back to Kyle Trask, though, he got some work actually with the first team offense versus the first team defense, and you know what? He did a very good job. He connected with passes to Mike Evans, to Chris Godwin. I don't think he threw an interception. Overall, it was a pretty darn good day for Kyle Trask. As I said, he's getting better more and more as these practices go on. It is a very encouraging thing to see. Elijah Ponder had some good pass rush today, a guy we've actually been mentioning in the past couple of videos. That's a good thing to see, just a backup outside linebacker getting some good work in. Ladarius Hamilton also did a pretty decent job today as well. One thing I want to note is that all quarterbacks today looked pretty sharp in practice. I don't think I saw one interception. Overall, I thought the offense had a good flow. They had good rhythm. The uh, quarterbacks had a lot of zip on their passes and not, you know, not a lot of mistakes were made from the quarterbacks. They really did a very, very good job, in my opinion, all four of them. You know, Griffin had some good passes. Gabbert had some good passes. Trask looked very good as well. And then Tom Brady is Tom Brady. So that was a good thing to see. Moving on now to some kicker stuff. And this is going to be interesting. So Jose Borregales made all of his kicks today, including a 60-yarder. Jose Borregales, you know, it's good. It's an interesting thing. You know, he's going to be on the practice squad, of course. I don't think he's going to beat out Ryan Suckup. I didn't see Suckup kick at all today. But, uh, you know, Jose Borregales has been doing some good work. I'll be honest. Uh, when he got signed, when he was coming in, you know, I think he's the kicker out of Miami. I didn't think, you know, they were going to give him that much of looks, give him that much time. But overall, they've been giving him some good looks, and he's been performing. I've been very impressed with him so far. Jose Borregales, hey... You know, if they ever need a kicker or shoot, he could probably even be a kicker for another team somewhere down the line. He really has been performing that well. So good job to the young kicker. Uh, Robert Hainsey got even more work in practice after he got that light work in with Tom Brady to the point where they were even having him do some snaps in like, say, seven on sevens, 11 on 11, stuff like that. So he's working his way back from his injury. I think it's safe to say he will be ready to go, you know, relatively soon. 
just not before the first preseason game. But still, he was getting some light work in with Brady. He was like, you know what? I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling ready to go. He was snapping the ball in some drills as well. So good for Robert Hainsey. Let's hope he has a, a very speedy recovery. Nate Brooks got a pass breakup on Scotty Miller uh, on a pass from Tom Brady. So again, Nate Brooks continues to go out there and make some plays. Antonio Hamilton, he's been a little quiet the, re the uh, recent few practices. And uh, we'll see where this goes, man. I'm just saying, I think they could end up keeping Antonio Hamilton and Nate Brooks, depending on what they want to do with Ross Cockrell playing safety. Maybe they only keep three safeties. Who knows? But Nate Brooks, he was putting in some of that good work. We'll see what he can do in the first preseason game. Grant Stewart made a nice play to corral a scrambling Kyle Trask. Love Grant Stewart. He is a, a very good friend of the channel, and he's been making some good plays. He's been showing a lot of hustle, a lot of drive, competitiveness. Like, he's been out there, and he has really been working his tail off. So, Again, he's another one of those guys that can carve out a big role for himself in special teams. I'm very confident that he can do that, and we'll have to wait and see what he can do. But again, Grant Seward, I think he's been having a pretty decent training camp so far overall. I'm excited to watch him get some playing time in these preseason games. And then finally, guys, to finish it off, Kyle Trask again had a very nice throw to TJ Simmons, who made an amazing catch on Chris Wilcox. It was in my opinion, the play of practice, it was a contested catch. TJ Simmons just went up and got it right over Chris Wilcox. So not too great for, for uh, Chris Wilcox. He's kind of in a tough situation. He's missed a lot of practice. So he's still honestly trying to get acclimated to NFL speed, whereas some of these guys have already been in the system for two weeks now. And uh, it does make Chris Wilcox's job a little bit tougher. But Kyle Trask, man, he... He really might have had one of his better practices today. He was doing some very, very good work, and I was very happy to see it. But, guys, that's going to be it for all the notes that I have. What did you think about everything that I talked about? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Again, thank you guys so much for the opportunity to uh, get me out there with a media pass. That wouldn't happen without your support. So I'm, I'm seriously extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Now we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.